اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم His Process Macro Mediation Analysis Model 4 In this session we are going to look into how to use His Process Macro for mediation analysis with one single mediator. Up to this point we have focused on how to perform moderation analysis using the process macro. Let us now examine how the influence between two constructs may take an indirect path through a third variable that is called the mediator. In these situations the third variable will intervene on the influence of the two constructs. In testing mediation or the presence of mediator in a model you need to understand some of the terminologies that is a direct effect indirect effect and total effects. There are more detailed videos on the concept of mediation and these direct effects indirect effects and total effects as well on the channel. The link will be shared in the description. Now if you are not well aware of these concepts it's strongly recommended that you watch those videos before watching this video. I'm going to briefly discuss these concepts. Now let's say I've got a variable x and I've got a variable y. The influence of x on y is the total effect without the presence of any other variable. Now in case I've got a variable x, variable y where x is my iv, y is my dv, m is my mediator. Now in presence of the mediator, this effect of x on y is referred to as a direct effect which was total effect earlier. A direct effect is simply a direct relationship between an independent variable x and a dependent variable y in presence of the mediator and this is referred to as C complement. An indirect effect is the relationship that flows from an independent variable that is from x to the mediator that is m and then to the dependent variable. So the influence of x on y through m is your indirect effect and that is calculated by the multiplication of A with B. The total effect is actually the sum of this direct effect and this indirect effect. The indirect effect is calculated using or through multiplication of A and B. A and B plus C will give you the total effect. The total effect passing from X to Y. Either directly or indirectly through M. Now this is the model that I want to test today using his process macro. Where culture is my independent variable, commitment is my mediator and performance is my dependent variable. I want to examine if the construct of culture has an indirect effect through commitment on the construct of organizational performance. The direct effect is represented by C complement. The impact of culture on commitment is represented by an A whereas the impact of commitment on performance is represented by B. Now this is the model for IV, DV and your mediator. Now the variables are continuous in this case. Now how do we run this? It's pretty simple and let's do it. Analyze, regression, process macro. My IV is culture. My DV is organizational performance. My mediator is commitment. And I'm interested in model four. Let's go to options. Now let's say we need the total effects. All other is not required. Let's press OK, continue and then press OK. Now here are the results. Again, model number four. With one IV, one DV, one mediator, this is the total sample size. The outcome variable, commitment, obviously now we have got two outcome variables. Y2. Look at the model here. Now this is an outcome variable where the exogenous or independent variable is culture for this outcome variable. And for this outcome variable performance here, we have got two exogenous variables impacting this outcome variable. So that's why we've got two outcome variable or two outputs showing the outcome variable. When commitment is your outcome variable, the only variable influencing commitment was culture. 
and when op is your outcome variable there are two variables impacting op culture and commitment now i've got this output all of this output explained in the presentation so i'm going to go back into the presentation and discuss all this output in greater detail now let's go back to our output so this was the model and these were the options uh, we can have standardized effects as well if you are looking for standardized effects you can just select this option and this will give you the standardized effects we normally report the unstandardized effects in mediation now this is the basic description of the model where y is your dependent variable x is your independent variable and m is your mediating variable this is your sample size So model summary provides uh, the summary of the model with R, R square, F statistics and P value for the overall model. Where is your model summary? Now you will have more than one model summary because you've got more than one outcome variable. The first is your IV and your mediator. The path is represented by A. Is this path significant? Yes, this path is significant because the P value is 0 0.000. This is less than 0 0.001. If you look at the coefficient, this is quite good. Now look at the R square, 37% change in commitment is being accounted by this culture variable here. Culture has a significant impact on commitment and this is your path A. We are going to use this path here, that is this path coefficient later in the calculations as well. Now this path here is significant. So yes, there is certain impact from culture to commitment. The other outcome variable in the path diagram or in the model that we are testing is performance. Now performance is being influenced by both commitment and culture. Now culture has a significant impact on performance here. But this here is now your direct effect because this is in presence of the mediator commitment. So when the mediator is present in the model, the impact of IV on DV is referred to as a direct effect. In this case, the direct effect is significant, 0.2917, it is significant. Look at the lower level or upper level of confidence interval, there is no zero in between. The T statistics is greater than 1.96. Overall, this model is significant, 43.13 percentage change in performance is being accounted by commitment and culture. Commitment again has a significant influence on performance. Now from the mediator to the dependent variable that is your path B is also significant. It is because the p-value is less than 0.05, the t-value is greater than 1.96 and there is no zero in between the lower level and upper level of confidence interval. Now we have got the direct effect, we have got the path B and we previously got the path A from culture to commitment. Here in the previous output, we saw culture and commitment and this path was path A, 0.6041. Now moving on, indirect effect, that is the effect of culture on performance through commitment. That is your path A multiplied by path B. What is your path A? Path A is from your IV to your mediator. In this case, this was from culture to commitment. What is your path B? from commitment to performance that is from your mediator to your dependent variable. Now this here is your total effect model that is the total effect from your IV to your DV or in other words the sum of the direct and indirect effect. So how do you calculate your indirect effect? You simply multiply your A path with your B path. So your A path the path coefficient for A path was 0 0.6041 and the path coefficient for B was 0 0.4531. Now here is your A path, 0.6041, that is from culture to commitment. Now this path here, A, is multiplied by this path here, B, B path, from commitment to performance, from commitment to performance, here, your outcome variable is performance, your exogenous variable is commitment. So the path from commitment to performance is 0 0.4530. When you multiply the paths, that is A path, the path coefficient from culture to commitment in the first outcome 0 0.6041 multiplied by 0 0.4531 you get your indirect effect. 
what is your direct effect now if you go back here let's go to the output much it's much quicker here now look at this this is your direct effect that is the effect of culture on performance in presence of the mediator how come it's in presence of the mediator let's go back here look at this here the impact of culture on performance in presence of commitment the impact of culture here 0.2917 the impact of culture on performance because performance is your outcome variable is 0.2917 so this is your direct effect c complement now this is your direct effect now add this with this and you will get your total effect which is 0.5653 that is the sum of your indirect and direct effect now moving on what is the type and form of mediation is there a mediation how would i know if there is a mediation or what is mediation that is the impact of culture on performance is being passed through the third variable that is commitment that is the impact of culture on performance is rather indirect and is passing through a third variable that is organizational commitment that is what we proposed earlier in our original model this here the impact of culture on performance is being passed through this particular variable so some of the impact or rather the impact of culture on performance is passing through this commit this variable commitment culture is influencing commitment and then commitment is influencing performance so if this is the case there is mediation how can we be sure about it is there a mediation look at this indirect effect of x on y through m is there a mediation yes there is mediation why am i saying that there is mediation because bootstrapped lower level confidence interval and upper level confidence interval is there a zero between the two no there is no zero between the two there would have been a zero if any of the two values would have been negative in this case there is no a zero this means that the indirect effect of x on y through commitment is significant what is the effect size this is your effect size and you got that earlier as well 0.2736 here a multiplied by b 0.2736 so there is mediation now when there is mediation we need to check for whether it's full mediation or partial mediation what do we mean by full or partial mediation full mediation would mean that the impact of culture on performance is completely passing through commitment the whole impact of culture on performance is passing through commitment that is culture will influence commitment and then commitment will influence performance culture will not impact performance directly this is referred to as full mediation what is partial mediation partial mediation is when culture some of the impact of culture on performance is passing through commitment whereas this path here is significant and this path here the direct effect some of the impact of culture on performance is through this path directly and some of the impact is passing through commitment that is both these paths are significant culture will influence commitment and commitment will influence performance whereas culture directly will influence performance as well that is this path is also significant so in this case this is partial mediation is this the case here now look at this the direct effect is it significant yes in presence of the mediator the direct effect is also significant that is some of the effect is directly passing from culture to performance whereas some of the effect is being passed indirectly look at the p value look at the confidence intervals no zero in between in this case this is partial mediation because your indirect effect is significant your direct effect is significant as well some of the influence is passing indirectly through this mediator whereas some of the impact is passing directly from the iv to the dv is it complementary or competitive now a multiplied by b multiplied by c now what are you multiplying the path coefficients that is your effect so a where is your a where is your b where is your c now this is your a what is your a 0.6041 so there is no negative sign so this is a positive sign a multiplied by b that is your 0.4530 and c that is your 
one seventh that is your c complement if you multiply the three there is a positive sign because all three are positive so this is complementary mediation if one of them would have had a negative sign this would have meant competitive mediation now in this case this is complementary mediation the sign of direct and indirect effect is the same or rather the sign of the direct and indirect effects is the same so how do we report the mediation analysis again you will first mention the relationship culture commitment performance the total effect the direct effects indirect effects confidence interval t statistics and conclusion now all of it is available in the tables and that we just reviewed the study assessed the mediating role of commitment on the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance now we assessed whether the relationship is a causal chain like culture will affect commitment and commitment will affect performance now the results revealed a significant indirect effect indirect effect 0.273 and the t statistics greater than 0.96 there is no zero in between so your indirect effect is significant that is there is a mediation now we are going to talk about whether it's partial or full so the direct effect of culture on performance was also significant look at this significant so some of the effect was passing through this commitment mediator and some of the effect was passing directly from culture to performance this was partial mediation you can summarize the results here like this in this table i hope now you would know how to use his process macro for simple mediation thank you very much